Hi, my name is Yasmin, and I will be leading you through this video with useful tips and tricks about troubleshooting tools in your Immersion Center account. This video is the third and last part of a free fault learning path. You can also watch two tutorials on understanding the changes to Google Product Search and providing high quality data. Let's say we have a feed all set up that implements all the new feed specifications and policies. I highly recommend that you first upload the feed as a so-called test feed. You can do this easily by clicking on the Data Feeds tab. And then choose New Test Data Feed. Fill in the form and don't forget that the name of the feed has to match the name of the actual file including the suffix. Now upload your data and wait for processing. Once you have uploaded your test feed, you can see a list of the errors and warnings that cause issues, if there are any, by clicking on the link under the status column. Often you see errors and warnings. Let me elaborate what's the difference. An error actually prevents an item from being uploaded. A warning may prevent your item from showing in product search. The item, however, has been uploaded into our system. These are two important things to keep in mind. In this overview, you only see examples of items that have been affected by the warnings. If you uploaded a test feed though, you can now download a full error report. Let me show you how such a report looks like. You see that the report includes every single item that is affected by an issue. It tells you whether it is a warning or an error. And it highlights what the issue is in fact. In addition, you see the item ID and a snippet so you can easily find the affected items in your own feed for fixing. Let's move over to the Data Quality tab. This is a very crucial tab and you should have a quick look at it every time you log on to your Merchant Center account. You can easily access the Data Quality tab through the dashboard or simply through the left-hand navigation. In our case, we see under the Data Quality tab that one of our six items is missing unique IDs. A very handy feature is that you can now download a full error report which flags all items for which you miss unique IDs. This is great when you have very large feeds. So at the moment, you have two downloadable reports, the full error report for test feeds and for missing unique IDs. We will enhance the Data Quality tab even more in the near future and will offer more downloadable reports. Note that the Data Quality tab highlights all kinds of issues that mustn't just be unique eddies. It could be that you don't use relative canonicals or that they're crawl issues, meaning our crawler can crawl your data. Even some policy and editorial guideline issues are flagged under this tab. The Data Quality tab is also the place where you can easily request a review of your items once you have been suspended due to critical errors in your account. Simply do so by clicking on the I Fix All Issues button. If you want to learn more about how to provide high quality data, check out our tutorial on this topic. If you have more questions about the changes to Google Product Search, check out our tutorial on understanding the changes to Google Product Search.